Good day, my name is Maria Gramatiuk and I'm a high school student. Today I'm talking about my TEDx talk topic. So, uh, say we begin on my topic, uh, our immune system has uh, immense difficulties uh, to adapt to the global climate change. According to a study by uh, Shenfen, Lucas, Holly, the immune system is vital for our health and uh, is heavily influenced uh, by uh, the climate. The connection between uh, our immune system. So, the climate change has not received much attention so far, but uh, it is cruel, cruel, and uh, understand the extent of the problem. Due to global warming, air pollution and the rising water level, the climate of the Earth is changing dramatically. These changes are mainly caused by the behavior of the us humans, especially children, older people and uh, people living in poor conditions are negatively affected by uh, this change. Once the body is fully developed, uh, the immune system is also ready. This we know because uh, children under the age uh, of uh, five often have an infection. The kids uh, conditionally or inconditionally are affected uh, by the climate change uh, in every moment of the, their life. Then the adults during eating, drinking, drinking, playing and even during the time they watch TV. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, pediatricians already see the effects. Climate change has when the patients do it to the current. Climate change winters are shorter, making the outdoor allergy season longer and warmer. The Climate Reality Project notes uh, the increasing global temperatures are uh, worsening the quality of the air, partly as a result of uh, crater for information of ground level ozone, which is the main uh, which is the main component of uh, urban smoke. So they also state that for children, uh, the exposure to high levels of ozone can cause shortness of breath, um, hazing and cohen, chest ache, uh, temporary decline in lung function and uh, low level respiratory tract uh, infection, depending on the time of transmission. The disease can be spread directly or uh, indirectly. Uh, research results show that weather and climate changes uh, can have uh, 
in influence uh, on how the disease spreads. Disease transmission can have a direct influence on the several uh, of uh, pathogenic organism and uh, indirect. So, uh, indirect influence on the person. Uh, menstruation is also a global problem in the healthy development of children. Climate really says that the varied uh, nutrient-rich diet is uh, essential for the healthy development of children. I think the climate change is disrupting many human partners of behavior, the disturbances uh, could change uh, indirect and uh, interaction between uh, disease and uh, human immune system. Well, in ways uh, the scientists uh, have not yet fully understood. It is uh, obvious uh, that the impact of the climate crisis could have serious and possibly alarming consequences for the health of children worldwide and uh, as the consequences for the future of our planet. So, what can we do to reduce the potential negative effect? According to the Climate Reality Project, uh, the good news is that there is uh, plenty we can do to minimize uh, or impact on the future climate and uh, to perceive uh, the health and helping of our offspring. Everywhere in the world, leaders climate reality can a committee to locally a collection, even if the government is not taking the leader on climate issues. So throughout uh, both children and young people also support local companies. Thank you for your attention.